Hey gang, so here we are. We are using the Red Cine X Pro software. This is the user interface uh, when you want to play around with your R3D files shot on your Red camera systems. Uh, what I wanted to show you today was how we can adjust white balance and film speed, uh, sensor sensitivity, after you have finished your shoot. So you can make decisions after the event, uh, which sometimes happens uh, when people change their mind about the aesthetic of things. Um, so what we're going to do is have a look at some footage that I've shot. I've very deliberately chosen these ones because, as you can see, they're super warm, like double warm. Uh, shot at 5600 Kelvin, which you can see over here. This is your image interface, primary interface here, where you can adjust a lot of the things within the metadata of the R3D files. So as you can see, this is a super warm shot, 5600 Kelvin, which is a daylight um, white balance. But I also use tungsten light through the window with CTO or control to orange gels, which is basically double orange effect, a double orange whammy on a daylight white balance. So what I wanted to show you is how simply with this interface that we can change things. So double click on the white balance. We'll knock that down to 3200 Kelvin, which you can see when I get the cursor out of the way. And see what that's done? It's removed so much of the warmth by reducing the white balance from 5600 Kelvin to 3200 Kelvin. It's still quite warm considering because we use this double orange. So if I was to knock that down to say 2200 and give that a look, you know, look at that. That's, that's, you know, now it's moving towards a cold kind of feel. Now all this is metadata. This isn't color correction after the edit this is before you start the edit so this is your rushes this is your 6k full frame rushes now this is before any color grading whatsoever this is simply metadata color correction so again click it back on there let's have a look at it at 4300 for example you know it goes back to being super warm again so we can choose where our sweet spot is here let's try 2700 kelvin and you know you've got something that's really nice, really nice, like really subtle kind of purples and browns and reds, rather than that full-on lava tastic, hot to trot kind of feel we've got here. So that's how you do it. There's your sensitivity here, currently 800 for maximum dynamic range. You could drop that down to 400. Try again. No, nope, doesn't want to do it. Got to do that manually. <laughs> so there's 400. That'll drop down, right? Um, yeah. So there we go. Nice and easy. Give it a click. You can move it manually. You can do it with any way you see fit. Right. Cool. So just wanted to let you see that um, as a very quick how to um, how to play around with R3D files after your shoot has finished. Bye.